What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial by, oh sorry, another C++ tutorial by moi. Um, as promised, this um, tutorial is going to be the second part of um, enumerations. So um, yeah, let's not uh, waste any more time on the introduction. First of all, create a new source file. And again, so um, we tried data. And now let's create a um a new enumeration right here. So enum again. We're going to call this um letter and we're gonna have these letters A B C and um, D. Now it is time to initial Oh, sorry, my uh, dad just called me, um, uh, so I put the video in pause, um, but, I, but as I was saying, we're going to initialize a um, letter right now, we're going to call this a um, letter character. Now, we're going to set character equals a, now we're going to have a um, C out statement right here. And we're gonna, oh, I completely forgot something. Before you do all this down here in the engine, you're going to create a um, an array. So you're going to type um, character things, two empty square brackets and a square bracket of 20 in it. Equals um, One, two, three, four. Oops. Okay. So um, the reason why we're doing this uh, things and then we have an empty square bracket after things is that now uh, that will allow us to define a character which uh, normally only is one letter and is defined like with two of these. But um. Uh. So, but we need this as a character and it has to be defined as a string, so it'll take the whole word and not just the first letter. And that's what this, uh, these two empty square brackets allows us to do. And this just shows it that this is a, um, array with 20, um, elements in it. But that doesn't have to be 20 elements. That's just a random n number I made up. Anyway, the first uh, one here is auto mobile. This one should be a bank cat and um, eagle. Now we say C out things A whoops hit the wrong button, I'm sorry. End line. Now again like in the previous tutorial we have some copying to do so copy this oops not cut Now we change this to um, to D and this to D, and now we change this to um, C. Now let's have C in here. Now let's try and compile and run it by hitting F9 and saving this as um, enum two. And now it says automobile, eagle, and cat. And do you have any idea why it does that? Hmm? No suggestions? Okay, then listen up. Because you clearly need it. First of all, we have a enumeration collection right here called letter, and that has uh, four um, enumerations in it A, B, C, and D. And then down here, we create a um, character array which um, is allowed to be uh, defined characters as um, with two quotation marks by putting these two empty square brackets behind things 
and uh, now down here we initialize a uh, letter to character. So now we set the um, now we set the um, the value of letter uh, to a, and a is equal to zero because you know a has no value so far, so that'll just be zero. And then it prints out the a element, and a is one is uh, zero, so it'll print out the zeroth element in this things array and as you know the computer starts to count at zero so the zeroth element in this array will be automobile so that's why it prints out that now it says character to d and d is the fourth um, element in the letter um, enumeration and then down here the fourth element in this things array is eagle so now it will print out eagle and C uh, will uh, is the um, third element in the um, the enumeration uh, letter, and also it is the fir uh, the third element in this things array, which is cat, and that's why it prints out automobile, eagle, and cat. Um, so yeah, that's uh, why uh, enumerations can come handy. You know, you can jump in between them like that. So if you wanted to print out different stuff, you just change. Uh, a and D and C to whatever you would like to, and also make sure that you change uh, this things down here. Uh, but uh, I don't know if I got this explained well enough, so I'm just going to recap one more time. First of all, we got an enumeration right here called letter or an enumeration con uh, collection, and that has four um, enumerations in it: A, B, C, and D. Now we have a um, char and a character array down here with uh, four elements in it automobile, bank, cat and eagle now uh, in our engine the first thing we do is to initialize letter to character now we say that with uh, dealing with um, a which has the value 0 because we didn't assign a value to it like this so uh, that'll just be 0 so now we set uh, actually we set, we set the enumeration to 0 and then we say print out the zeroth element in this array which is automobile now it sets um, the value of um, character to 1, 2, 3, 4 and the fourth element uh, right here is 1, 2, 3, 4 eagle and then it sets a uh, character to, uh, to 1, 2, 3 and the third element in this array is one, two, three, cat. So um, now it'll just print out that. And uh, I suppose that's the best explanation right now I can give on um, uh, this uh, part of enumeration. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see you in my next tutorial. And I don't know what that one will be about, or, but I promise you, it'll not be um, on uh, enumerations again. Anyway, I'll see you hopefully.